This video is part of my Wireshark Packet Analysis and Ethical Hacking course. Have a look at this playlist if you wanna see other videos that are part of this course. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to capture TFTP traffic. Be careful using TFTP in your network. It's sent in clear text. So if you're backing up a configuration file to a TFTP server, as an example, I'll be able to capture all your usernames and passwords. So many Cisco engineers, as an example, will back up their configurations using TFTP or download configurations using TFTP. But that's all sent in clear text, very easy to read passwords and other confidential information in your configurations if you use TFTP. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start a capture on this link because this is my server and I wanna capture the traffic going to the server. What I'll do on the router is make sure that the router can ping the server. Server IP address is 10.1.1.1. So on the router, ping 10.1.1.1. Ping succeeds. So in Wireshark, let's filter for ICMP. Ping uses the ICMP protocol. And there you go, you can see we've got a ping or echo request message and then an echo reply. So the router IP address 10.1.1.254 is pinging the server and then the server is replying back. So we can see that the ping succeeded. We'll be able to see information about the ping. Now I'm not worried too much about that here. What I wanna do is capture traffic from the router to the server and specifically traffic like TFTP. So what I'm gonna do is save the router's configuration. And let's say the administrator of this router wants to back up the configuration. So copy startup config, so that copy the saved configuration to a TFTP server. IP address will be this. We'll set the destination name as that. So the destination file name is that. Configuration has been copied. So the router administrator is happy. His router configuration has been copied to the TFTP server, but the problem is that you have captured that whole session. So notice we can see router sending traffic to the server using TFTP, destination file name is this. We're getting acknowledgements, we're seeing various information, but what I'm gonna do here is follow the UDP stream. TFTP uses UDP. So notice what I can see. I can see the full running configuration of the router, including the DHCP pool information. I can see IP addresses. I can see passwords. So notice there's the Telnet password. Scrolling up, user made a big mistake. They enable password is in clear text. So they used the enable password rather than the secret password. Secret is encrypted or hashed, whereas the enable password is in clear text. So just by capturing traffic on the wire, I was able to grab the passwords of the router and the full configuration of the router. Be careful using TFTP in a network. Okay, so what I'll do is stop that and save it so that you've got it. So TFTP. FTP is often used in networks to transfer files. So we might be downloading a file from an FTP server or uploading a file to an FTP server. FTP is clear text. Passwords are sent in clear text. So you need to be very careful using FTP in your network. Okay, so let's run another capture. And let's see if we can capture FTP. So copy, and let's use running config in this example to FTP. IP address is this, destination file name is that. Notice configuration has been copied. In Wireshark, I'll filter for FTP. And hopefully you can see this already. Notice username is root, password is GNS3. It was as simple as that to capture the username and password used in FTP. I'm gonna right click, click follow, click TCP stream. Notice we can see the username and the password 
we can see that some data was transmitted. So be careful using FTP in your network. Notice username and password, as simple as that, to grab that information off the network. Now that was configured on the router. So on the Cisco router, show run pipe include FTP, I configured the username and password on the router. And that's what the router used when logging into the FTP server to back up the configuration. Okay, I'll stop that Wireshark capture and then save that so that you've got it. Be careful using FTP, TFTP, and other protocols on your network. I've been